Charles, the injuries for you, first of all, a season today, where's your frustra frustration level with all that? How healthy are you now? Uh, I think I'm 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 at a pretty healthy uh, level mindset in a good place. Uh, I'm just trying to find a way to go out there and help my team win. But overall, I think I'm in a good place. Angle's getting better by the day by day. You get hurt again some today, right? No, not really. Just come to the game, banging the bruises. I ain't get hurt. Was there any chance of you not playing in this game? No, I was. It was 100 percent. I was playing. So when you have to mix and match so many guys, I mean, you're back in the lineup, but. Uh, now Rashad's out, your, your safeties are changing around. How difficult is that for a secondary to adjust to? Um, I really just think it, it comes down to the guys that's in the room. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a couple of fallbacks on us in the spring, the summer, fall of getting the, if you're not a one, if you're a two or three, getting you up to the part where if your opportunity comes, you can come, go out there and play, play at a high level. What's the difference in your eyes of this TCU team this year versus the team you played in past past years, especially here at West Virginia, in terms of obviously they've stepped up offensively, they've stepped up passing game wise, they're top ten in the country. That wasn't the case. Um, yeah, I mean I'm, I only played them last year, so uh, I don't think it, they're just a different team. I think they're the same team. It's just um, today they made more plays than us. You know, we was out there and we let them have a couple plays, and you can't do that versus versus especially number six team in the country. So they just made more plays than us, and we gave up some plays. But I don't think overall, I don't think they are a different team. They're the same team. They, but they got good guys on each side of the ball. So Charles, obviously going into halftime, it's only a, a one-possession game, seven-point game, and obviously you guys are getting the ball coming out of halftime. Uh, with that said, uh, the big plays that TCU got in the first half, um, how much of that played a, a part in the final uh, result of the, of the game? Um, you could you could really say that by every play. So I mean, I can't say that they played a you know a big significant impact on the outcome. But I do tell the guys when the big play do happen, like move on. We can't can't you know be putting our heads down, feeling sorry for ourselves. We just got to move on next play and keep playing to the zero on the clock. Coach was talking about maybe some there was miscommunication, maybe some misalignment. I'm thinking of one play where their slot receiver got lined, they got matched up with the linebacker and. and turn into a big play. Uh, how much of it was, you know, you know, lines getting crossed and that kind of thing? Um, they just got to tip your hat to them. You know, it's, it's good offense uh, sometimes. Sometimes you're going to have good offense versus good defense. So, yeah, like, like I said, you just line up, play the next play. Well, the defense did much better against the wide receiver screens that obviously TCU looked at from last week's game. What do you think you all did better in containing those? Uh, just really having better eyes and better, just doing what we coach to do, having better fundamentals. Um, that was something we harped on this week um, at practice, you know, giving up almost 200, 300 yards just off screens last week, which is really uh, coming and setting the edge of the defense and sending the ball back in. You said you guys played much better defensively second half than the first. Uh, what, what was the difference in the two halves? I think guys just played harder. Guys went out there and, and just read, went out there and compete. That's all it come down to, um, you know, they got X's and O's, techniques and all that, but I think at the end of the day, it come down to winning your one-on-one -on -one matchup. How would you evaluate the defense overall this season? Obviously, you've not been able to play in every game this year, but just from what you've watched, now the games you have taken part in. Um, I still I still feel the same about the defense that I felt day one back in January. They're like, this is a really good, great defense. Um, I just think most of the game we haven't just – we love some, some players out there or was trying to do too much. But overall, I still think this is a, a good defense. We just got to put it all together. Charles, what do you, uh, like, what do you say to a, a guy like Ruffin at the end of the game? I mean, he made some really good plays during, during the game. I mean, he's the one that recovered the fumbled punt. He had the interception, obviously. But then obviously, you know, everyone sees the last play there at the end. And it's not all on him, obviously. Mm. But, you know, it, but that's the situation. What, what do you say? And stuff well, like, like I told Ruff at the game, I'm, I'm proud. I'm very proud of Ruff. Um, he come in, and this is what most people don't know about um, Ruffin. Ruffin has bounced around from corner to safety to spirit, so he's learning three different positions. That is, that is hard for a Division One athlete. So um, I just told him, he's no matter what, he's ready to step up and, and make a play. But I told him at the game, I'm proud of him. Um, that's a play, you know. A guy just went up and got it. You know, you got to think about it. Guys on offense at other schools, they're on scholarship just like us.
size. Yeah, but I'm still proud. I just told him to keep his head up next play. Charles played on Harvey. You said one one on that one matchup in the second half, right? How much that is playing man to man and, and kind of challenging players just to be better in those spots. Um, yeah, man to man will give you a tight coverage, but at the same time, um, most most zone coverages around colleges turn into man defense down the field. So it's man at the end of the day.